let's have a baby. You can say no. Let's, let's move in together within two weeks. You can say no. Let's start a family together within three weeks. You can say no to that type of stuff. But, 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 but Lee, what if I say no and it runs them off? Good. Let them keep running. You don't want, but I never said, like, you don't want people to take advantage of you and get you pregnant or get you get or you get them pregnant and then you are here looking silly, you have to deal with somebody for the rest of your life that you don't know. Tell them no sometimes. That's the kind of live with you. I know it's only been two weeks, but kind of live, I'm, I feel on hard time. No. So you're going to let me be homeless on the street? Yes. Yeah, I can't help you out. I don't know you. Some of y'all was just like, I, I, they, they were just down there, like, they, were, they were having a hard time, they were going through it, and I'm a people pleaser, and I just say yes, I just want to help everybody heal, and blah, 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 boop, 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 beep, 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 you know how it goes. So I just feel like where you are right now, where you stand right now, you are in control. You really are. I think you are in control of everything. You are. You have to add up, you have to add yourself up, you have to. Look, you have to hype yourself. You have to practice that self-love. You have to understand that saying no to people is a, is a good thing. When you say no to somebody else, you're saying yes to yourself. When you're literally saying no to them for something that they want to do, what they want to get from you, you're saying yes to yourself. When you're protecting yourself, you're setting healthy boundaries. You can say no to your parents. You can say, if you're grown, you can uh, situationally, um, you can say no to your parents. You can say no to your kids. You can say no to your family members, your brothers, sisters, whatever, your cousins. You can say no to your boss. Within reason. You can say no to uh, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, wife, whatever. You can say no. You have the ability to say no. A no and no. A simple no. A two-letter word can save you so much time, effort, and energy. That simple two-letter word can save you so much time, effort, energy, life, mental health, mental anguish. Physical health, physical, physical anguish, stress. Oh my God, y'all! The two, the two simple words that, that weigh the most, right? The two simple letters that weigh the most, right there. N O. No. You're saying it doesn't have letter, to be perfect. Like, yes, yes. Anyways, y'all. Sunday morning. As I'm doing my thing, morning, I'm just again, listening I'm to webinar, mental health and healness. So you can go check bio. him out um, and check the rest like of this live out. I'll put it in the description. Two therapists, two self-aware narcissists, two, two coaches that are also survivors as well. And also the therapists are survivors too, y'all. Anyways, y'all, like and subscribe for more. And uh, my podcast. Bye. Let's see what else is going on in these YouTube streets. We got cheese. We got spring onion. We got the fake. People go away about it. The fake cheese, the cheeseburger cheese. We've got some garlic, we've got some red onion, we've got some bacon. I don't remember which part, but yeah, we're doing some pastry puffs. And we might fling and dash some seasoning. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cook these puffs and then I'm gonna fill them. Myself. One of these, and what's it called? It's a shark. One of these is not a shark. So, it's on baking paper already. So it just warms back up the air fryer, so I can just fling this in. I'm gonna turn it upside down so the square's upside down because. Well, rectangle is upside down because the other side, once it's puffed up, is the side that we're going to fill. So, in, we're going to put it on 10 minutes, see how it goes, and I'm going to put it on 175 and see how we get on. Okay. So these are the other two that I'm doing because Madam might want to take one to school tomorrow and I might want one for lunch. And I have one for my dinner.
need to wipe things off. And you with seasoning in Jamaica, we call this Gillian. Okay. In England, we call it spring. They call it spring onion. That sound that you're hearing in the background is. Check and see how this puff is doing. Puffing. Okay. It's slowly puffing. Don't want to take them out too quick because then um, then it will be a case of it doesn't rise properly. Garlic chopped, spring onion chopped. Well, I've got some vegetables in the fridge, the freezer, should I say, and that I'm going to put them with. nearly there. Okay, what we got now? We need our red onion because we're going to have vegetables as a side dish with it. Washing my knife. So I'm not using all this. Nice 
pieces. Put some respect on my name. Put some respect on my name. Alright. Some cheese. We'll do it in blocks. Overwhelmed. Check on that pastry puff in a second and turn it over and let it cook on the other side. Let it half cook and then add the fillings. Or well, three quarters cooked, should I say. You don't want it to go too brown so that you can put all the fillings in and the bacon and stuff is already cooked so it's more for the cheese and everything else let me just check so these things can blow up differently Put it over on the other side now because that one side is golden brown. We're going to put that on about seven minutes and see what happens. I get small like this, I'll leave it there because it's good to have some big bits. see if the argument league is still on or if there's anything else that's worth watching top of the order because we're watching some I think it finished Next time a man calls me beautiful, I'm not going to be like, oh, thank you. I'm just going to. Okay. Let's go down with that. Let's get on with this.
enough cheese. But we'll see. I'll leave it here just in case. Because you never know. Let me chop up this meat. Okay. This one's one I'm filling this one I'm going to put the next one in Oops, I don't know if you can see this keep touching the camera and stuff so hopefully that's clear now I ain't doing no fancy editing on this one. It's all me moving camera backwards and forth. So we've got our puff pastry. It didn't rise as high as I would like because of probably because of when I opened the um, open the um, what do you call it? When I open the um, air fryer. That's <laughs> what you do. Flip it over, put it back inside because you're going to need it because of what you're filling it with. Okay. So it's like a little boat. <laughs> so what we want to do is just fill it with the veg, the cheese and stuff. And then we're going to put it in to cook a bit more. start with some pieces of garlic in the bottom, some seasoning, okay, I'm going to put some more in, in a bit, don't want to overwhelm it too much, well, some people like overwhelmed, just depends what you're flavoring your taste buds on. Some of the red onion in the bottom. These are the small pieces. Okay. And I'm going to put some cheese because I want to layer it up. I'm going to put some of this cheese. I suppose if you wanted, you could turn it into like a, I suppose, a cheese pizza, a puff pastry cheese pizza, but then just um, 
adding tomato into the bottom. I suppose some people like ketchup. Okay. I don't mind that going cold because it needs to. What I've got here is some hot water. So kettle boil hot water. And I've got some frozen veg that I want to go with my pastry puff. warm up as would you want it aside I suppose <laughs> so we're back to our pastry bath We've got herbs here this is a mixed herb this is a mixed Jamaican herbs It's got thyme, it's got basil, it's got savour, it's got parsley, and it's got a few other things in it, okay? And then we're going to put another layer of cheese on top. So we're just gonna flip him over quickly. Ooh, what did you know, see? Ow. <laughs> so, yeah. What were we doing? Oh, we're just putting a um, layer of bacon. Then we were. Some more onion, cheese, gonna add another layer. We'll see how what's it called it because I don't want to push it too far that it breaks. Okay. Nice pile there. Let's see if we can fit some more. Do one more layer. gonna melt now. Okay. So I want some garlic. Some scallion. on top
last dose of cheese. It won't melt too far. Mm -hmm. And we'll put finishing garnishes in a bit. So we've got our puff pastry full of cheese, pieces of bacon. I suppose you can put other things in there like other vegetables if you're vegan. I'm a flexitarian, so for the most part I eat like a vegan plant-based diet, but there are like a few times during the month where I'll have a bit of meat or I'll have some mints or I'll have a burger or stuff, something. I don't deny myself if I feel like it. For the most part, you know, you can add other vegetables into this, zucchini, spinach, mushrooms. Just depends what you're into. Okay, let me check this one, because I think this one might be done. I'll give it a minute more. Whoop, whoop, nearly there. It's the sound of the police. Actually, we don't want that sound of the police, do we? Nope. So, what I've got to do is get to my microwave. Put this back in the fridge. I don't do this anymore. This one is done and this one is going in. So just let that one cool down for a minute. And put this in here. We'll give that about five minutes. Okay, let's just open this one for a second. Oh, so it's still coming up there. Okay. You want it supported at the bottom, so we're just gonna flip it over. Well, we're gonna let the heat come out first because that's really, 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 really hot. Um, three, two. Okay, we're doing uh, 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 vegetables, vegetables. See how we get on that way. Okay, now back to cooking with Queen. So I'm just trying to use up certain ingredients and things that are in my fridge because um, when I was recovering um, in hospital and when I came home, um, my daughter was with my mom and my dad while I was in there so basically there was a lot of stuff I thought shopping for her to take down to my mum's and um, she didn't take all the stuff with her and then her cooking class I think they actually um, cancelled some stuff so I've ended up with you know leftover stuff that didn't get used so but it's not want not. Got um, what to call it? Stripping all over the place. Just putting the garlic in. Putting some scallion. Okay, they want to group together like their buddies. Nope. Separation time. Okay. Same thing we did last time. Some onion in the bottom. Some flavor. And this one I'm actually going to add the seasoning to the bottom. Let's see if there's a difference in perforation. Okay. I'll keep an eye on this one. I want it over. Okay. And then, what did we do? Cheese first? I suppose you could do it a different way if you wanted to. Uh, 
break it, rip it, tear it, get it on there. Red on you. Okay. Obviously, if you've got normal onions, um, you know the standard onions, the golden ones. Nothing wrong with using those. The vegetables. But at the moment, I fancy the red onions because it's like I like the after crunch spice that happens when you bite into it. So gonna go on the top like we did before. Make sure it's not pressing too hard. I wanna press but not too hard. Okay. Put cheese and shit all over the place. That one is hot, hot, hot. Okay. okay, let me do it for a little bit longer. Okay, just head for the thing. I think the um, my car heard me. <laughs> I think that needs a little bit more. That was quite well, felt quick to me. taking longer because I'm still doing things and running around and stuff just in case people think this is a live no this is pre-recorded so by the time this goes up I'll be sitting down with these babies or one of these babies with my vegetables and enjoying it okay I will enjoy some on your behalf let's put another layer I heard the bing. I suppose you could put turkey. I suppose you could even put, um, what would you call it? Um, corn for the vegans or tofu. You could do some tofu dipped in um, pre seasoned tofu. Um, I know this is kind of cheating, but when I originally um, was changing over to veganism or parts of veganism, I would use like the chicken stock and the vegetable stock and I would soak it in the tofu um, and the um, the meat substitutes to give it that flavor and yes I do understand that the chicken stock is boiled chicken and that's still murder and blah 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 listen don't come over here with that okay I respect those that choose the full vegan lifestyle I have done it for a number of years in the past um, and I might go back to it again if I feel like it but, uh, put some garlic on this thing some flavor Woo! okay put a couple more pieces on it and then we're gonna put this one in the Cheese on the side, trying to drop off. Let's give you an inside scoop. 
there you go. Second one. Work hunting. Put it in a small pirate with the lid. And they got on through. Okay. But now, I'm doing these small miniature versions these days. Now we're doing these small mini plates. Oops. Roll. Okay. Now I'm doing these small, small miniature plates of food. Okay. using two white. I don't need to do that. I've got three different um, pieces of kitchen roll. I want to wipe the side. Just flip over, which I'm using now. And there's another one that I've got on the other side, which I use for plates. I'm going to put that next to the pin so I know what it is. Okay, so I'm not using the same kitchen roll clean and maneuver. So look at it. Looks like a little pizza baby. So we're gonna do one more. Well, I'm not rushing because now this one's done. Okay. So just to finish him off. showing you the real plater okay the real plater <laughs> okay the real plater put this in here Woo! Forgot hot 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 okay steaming hot veg be careful this actually has a long um, so, what did you call it handle so I don't burn myself so I'll make sure y'all can see me turn this light up okay so I've got Take a little closer look at what we've got in here. Ooh, sorry. We've got vegetables, some coconut water, a little bit of herbs in there to just season and flavor the vegetables. You can also cook the vegetables in vegetable stock, chicken stock. Just depends what flavor you want. You could put some Caucasian seasoning on it. Get 
these vegetables. We're just trying to drip off as much water as possible because I don't want the bottom of my pastry going soggy. We already know. Veg holds a lot of water, which is a good thing. It's not a bad thing. Now, because I was multitasking and doing stuff, it's taken longer to cook this. You can get it really done in about 15 to 25 minutes if like, you're using, because I was using the air fryer, but you could get the three done on a tray in about 25 minutes. Obviously, I'm multitasking Sunday evening, but as you can see, coming through with the puff pastry what should we call it puff pastry baguette pizza i don't know puff pastry pizza ah there we go we could call it a puff pastry pizza i don't know it just sounds cute and it looks cute too and in a minute i'm gonna pull out the last one. So when I let this cool off, I need to drain some of the water off that or it's going to continue to cook that. And the last one is done. Well, not the last one. Second to last one, should I say. In fact, I'm going to leave that on the um, paper. And I'm going to put this here. Paper. Ow. Ow. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh. We're gonna put in baking paper for the last one. Look at it. It's so short. I wonder if oh, oh, Lioness has gone to sleep. I was gonna say. I wonder if Lioness wants one of these before she goes to sleep. But I just remember she's already gone to sleep. Time has gone. Look at her. It looks so cute. I think I'm gonna leave this to cool and put this in her little thing for tomorrow. For lunch or snack. Do you call it break? We call it break time. I think in America they call it recess. But yeah, as I'm cooking this, it is 11, 11, 11. I missed my own premiere. <laughs> uh, uploads on YouTube. Sorry. Sometimes that's the way it happens while you're multitasking. I'm doing motherhood. Okay. But he's a cute little thing. Look at him. See that? fit into the palm of my hand if it wasn't so hot. Almost reminds me of those um, pizza buckets, I suppose you could call them. Okay. Before I go, I'm gonna let you guys see me dig into this. I'm standing here talking when I should be eating. can see for those foodies for those food connoisseurs for those who like food porn 
Well, he cools. Ooh, really melting the cheese now. I've got one more to do. But I can sit down in the meantime. So one last look. Before I destroy. Yes, queen. Yes. I did this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Me. Mm-hmm. Yes, it might be just pa pastry, but, you know. Some of Queen's love and care and soul has gone into it. Okay? Get into it. So. Let's destroy this. Mm. Veg tastes good. Mm -hmm. Look at that puff pastry. over here in the light so you can see look at that all that puff pastry cheese bacon onion down the hatch okay down the hatch mm. They say it's not over until the fat girl sing. Well, the fat girl is singing. <laughs> okay. Mm, 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 mm. That tastes so good. Mm. And the vegetables give it another dimension. It is a little bit salty. But what I'd say about that is, because it's different cheeses, you know, I think more so than anything, that's where the salt with the bacon comes through. So you might need something else in it to absorb some of the salt if you're not putting it with vegetables. Otherwise, when you've got the vegetables with it, because I don't add salt, separately to my um cooking because a lot of the time the seasonings already have salt in there but some of the other se seasonings have elements of salt within them themselves so i've tried to cut down on my salt intake over the last few years so i don't cook with salt purposely as much um but yeah i'm gonna stop chatting and i'm yum, you're sitting Some cauliflower. Pastry is so puff, it's uh, falling apart. Right, let's get some green beans on there. Oh, 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 it's trying to escape. Mm. Oh, yeah. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed this. Seeing what. Queen does in the kitchen sometimes. I will be doing some more stuff, but I need to find what I did. I've got this tripod that connects to the top of my cupboard, which is over my um, stove, my cooker. And I used to attach the GoPro on my phone to that. I'm trying to find the pieces. <laughs> So I can do overhead and just show you as I'm flinging and dashing while I'm cooking. I should have just picked this up with my hands because it's just falling apart with a fork. Sure. So. I'm gonna flip this button. He's nearly done, I'm done, and I'll fill him. But in the meantime, everybody, take care. 
I hope you're well. Enjoy your food. Enjoy every savoring moment of your food. Sometimes we rush things in order to get it down the hatch. But really, just take the time to enjoy all those delicious flavors. Because it's worth it. And you're worth it. Okay? You put all this love, attention, and care into this food. Celebrate yourself! What they say? Break yourself, fool! Okay, I'm gonna stop being foolish now. Um, I don't know how many uploads I've got left on YouTube tonight. I was thinking about going live. So I may do that, I've got a bit more to do. Um, I've got one more set of laundry to just put in. I might go live after I finish that. Otherwise, just look out for the notif notifications. Please click like, comment, share. And thank you. Take care, good night, God bless everybody. And wherever this message finds you. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. And I am Queen Cascade. Bye, y'all.